So what we found between 2003 and 2018 is that prescribing of any anxiolytic medication increased really quite substantially. So in 2003, um, the prevalence rate was um, 25.0 per 1,000 person years at risk. And by 2018, so when the study ended, it was up to 43.6 per 1,000 person years at risk. So that's really quite a large increase, about 75%. Um, we also saw increases in the prescribing of other drug classes, so antidepressants, um, prescribing of um, Propranolol and nearly doubled over the study period. And we also saw increases in prescribing of antipsychotics and anticonvulsants, although they were prescribed less frequently. The only exception to this increase was prescribing of benzodiazepines, which were pretty steady across that 16 year period. I think GPs are probably getting better at identifying anxiety, and there's increased awareness of anxiety within society. However, some of this prescribing isn't based on um, robust evidence of effectiveness. So thinking here in terms of beta blockers, so um, they're not recommended in the NICE guidelines, they're not mentioned at all. Um, so there's no clinical guidance for when and how GPs should be using them for anxiety. Um, also thinking about prescribing of antipsychotics. So again, NICE guidelines recommend that they shouldn't be used for generalised anxiety disorder. That was brought in in 2011 um, and actually prescribing slightly increased in terms of antipsychotics after that year. So in terms of taking this work forward and research, I think there's a real need to understand when and why GPs are prescribing these medications for anxiety. Um, and particularly thinking about that, the benzodiazepine increasing in adults as well. I think that's something that needs to be explored further. You know, is it that young adults, um, we need to widen the treatment choice for young adults. There's just not enough available options to them.